question for you. Have you ever looked at the makeover programs? And we know when they're getting ready for a makeover on certain programs, the owners of the house have to move everything out, everything out. And what I sense God wants us to look for in this hour is the spirit of bitterness, making sure that everything is out that needs to go. And so look into the corners, into the basement, into the garage, up under the cabinet by the sink, uh, tucked away somewhere in a corner. We're looking for that spirit of bitterness. Uh, maybe thinking back, when was the last time I saw bitterness raise its ugly head? Where was I at? God desires to do something so awesome in our lives in this season. He wants you to be a carrier of his glory. So we want to take everything out of the house that offends him. Everything that would take up space. Because this space within the walls of this house is needed for the glory, for the presence of the Lord. And so let's just take a look. And let's just see if we spot any bitterness around the house, up under the bed, anywhere. Bless God, we want to get rid of it. It has to go because we want to make over. God wants us to dress in the kingdom fashion, his kingdom fashion, praise God. In his love, his peace, his joy, his goodness, his kindness, you know, his generosity, his faithfulness, bless God, his long-suffering. Oh my, there's nothing like kingdom fashions. And so as we look, all right, all right. I don't know if you spotted anything, but let's just take it before the throne of grace because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. And before we go there, let's take a moment and look at what um, may be traveling with bitterness. Ephesians 4.31 the complete Jewish Bible says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, violent assertiveness, and slander, along with all spitefulness. It has to go. It has no place. It is not wanted within the walls of this house because God wants to do something fresh and new and beautiful within us. So can we take time to pray? Father, we thank you for your presence right here and right now. We thank and praise you, Father. You're so faithful that whenever two or three assemble together in your name, you said, there am I in the midst. And oh God, even as we lift our hands to you as an act of surrender today, we ask you, Father God, to examine us. Search within the walls of this house. Search our hearts and see if there be any bitterness within us. God, we know bitterness will dry up the bones. We know bitterness, oh Father God, will spoil your plans for us. We know bitterness is not our friend. We know bitterness, oh Lord God, came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Father, in Jesus' name, bitterness wants to destroy relationships. Bitterness wants to destroy our home. Bitterness wants to destroy our bodies, our future, our ministries, our finances. Bitterness wants to wreck the place. God, we ask you to search us, Lord God. Oh, Father God, and put your finger right here, right now, Lord God, on that place, that spot where bitterness needs to go, God. Remind us of those trigger spots, Father. The last time a trigger spot showed up, did bitterness stick up his head? Remind us of those moments, Father. And oh God, those of us who see that bitterness did stick up his head, oh Father, we ask you to forgive us. We ask you to cleanse us. Lord, we renounce bitterness, Father. We renounce it, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for your power to set us free right now, God. We want the kingdom makeover, Father God. We want to be carriers of your peace, of your presence, of your joy, of your goodness, of your kindness, Lord God, of your glory, oh Father. Oh, Father, we bless you, Father God. We want to walk in your authority, Father. We want to do what you called us to do. God, we renounce it in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we just command bitterness to leave. Get out in Jesus' name. Get 
out in the name of Jesus. We come against you in Jesus' name. We renounce you in the name of Jesus. Get out. Oh God, let your blood cover us. Let your blood wash us, Lord God. Oh God, dig down into the root, Lord God, the shoot and the fruit, God. Anything, God, that bitterness might have tried to leave behind, oh God, or hide in this earth of ours, Father. Forgive us, cleanse us, Father, from all unrighteousness, Lord God. We want the makeover, God. We want, oh, Father, to be used by you in this hour. We want to bring healing to others, Lord God. Not, oh, Father God, offenses, not anger, not strife, not wrath, not resentment. Oh, God, not violence. Oh, Father, we want to bring healing, Lord God, and deliver us, Father. We want to be those vessels you called us to be. We want to be that salt of the earth. We want to be that light of the world, Father. Oh God, we want to be all that you called us to be. So we thank you, Father, for this opportunity, for this makeover, God. Oh, Father, may you be glorified in our lives. May you be magnified. May you be exalted. May you be lifted up, oh, Father God. May people see you and never us, oh, Lord God. Oh, God, and may your power flow through us in this hour. Oh, God, that we can do all that you called us to do, Father. In Jesus' name, oh, God, may people see your beauty, Father. May they see see your kindness, Lord. May they experience your touch, Lord God. May they see your healing power flowing, God, from us, Lord God, to them, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you, God. We declare our bodies healed in Jesus' name. Oh, God, because we recognize bitterness is a thief. It came, Lord God, to wreck our bodies. Bitterness is a thief. It came to dry up our bones. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us to part company, Lord God, in the name of Jesus with the spirit of bitterness, Lord God. We say no to it. We close the door on it, God. Forgive us for every door we open to this spirit, Father, in Jesus' name, God. And we thank you so much, God. We praise you so much. We bless you so much. And now's a good time to move some fashionable pieces back into your home. And that way the decorators will know just where to set them. And so let's release some peace. Let's release some uh, joy. Let's release praise. Let's release worship in this hour. Let's thank God. Let's show gratitude to God. Oh, bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Praise your mighty name, God. You're awesome in this place. Oh, and we thank God for letting the rivers of living water flow. My goodness. Don't you just love the sound of the rivers of living water flowing like never before? All right. Watch yourself out there and watch and pray. Your house looks beautiful. I believe I see the glory of God shining upon your face. Stay tuned for the next makeover. God is moving new, fashionable kingdom pieces within the walls of our house. All right, God bless. <laughs>